Well, you guys, today we're talking about what needs to change for Windows 12 when it's released. First off, let's talk about the first one, which I think is a big pet eight for everyone, which is to do with system requirements. Windows 11 had pretty strict uh, system requirements, and a lot of people weren't officially allowed to be able to update or upgrade to Windows 11. It just made their PC non-compatible, even though we now know that it works perfectly fine on Windows 11. It's just the fact that Microsoft made their own program to tell you that your PC was never going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. That means they're now forced to stay on Windows 10 until end of life in October 2025. And of course, Microsoft have now added salt to the wound by saying that you can stay on uh, Windows 10 for another three more years after October 2025 if you pay for security updates, which is a bit of a cash grab for Microsoft to keep you to be able to use Windows 10 for another three years after October 2025. The next thing I'd like to see them change for uh, Windows 12 is the actual privacy and security. As you can see here, there is a bunch of filler inside here that makes you go through and having to turn all of this stuff off every single time you do an install of Windows. And of course, this is just unnecessary bloat inside Windows that people don't want, and many, many people just turn it off. And of course, these settings do change every time there's a feature update, and it can be a bit tiresome and also get on people's nerves where they have to constantly go in here and make changes. People then start using debloat scripts and start using applications like ShutUp10 and things like that to turn a lot of this stuff off. So a lot of this can be removed. They don't need to have all of this bloat inside here. A lot of this is geared up for telemetry and unwanted ads, which Microsoft seem to keep forcing on you by adding little areas in where they, they will force ads upon you. And a lot of people don't want all of this stuff. So they need to start making changes with this because if it doubles up on Windows 12, people are just not going to use it. It's going to be dead in the water before it's even released. So let's move on to the next thing that needs to change here is if you look inside group policy, this is another thing that people have to do to turn off a lot of stuff that they don't want, a lot of telemetry or forced adverts or even forced applications and services that they don't need. And you have to go into group policy or the registry editor and make a ton of changes. And there's lots of them. As you can see here, I've already started going into group policy editor and disabling a ton of this stuff because most people don't want any of this stuff on their system. And of course, this then leads to using third party apps to turn a lot of stuff off, uh, settings that you don't need, and also using scripts and debloat scripts and things like that. We can do away with all the third party stuff if they stop adding it into the operating system. A lot of people will like Windows a lot better without having to go through all of this and disabling a lot of this stuff. Now, I've still got quite a bit to disable and turn off, uh, but unfortunately, this is a son of the times with Windows nowadays where you ended up going into group policy editor and registry and also using deep bloke scripts to turn a lot of stuff off that you don't want. So let's see how I end to that in Windows 12, hopefully. Let's move on to another thing that definitely needs to change in Windows 11, and that is the start menu. The start menu for Windows 11 was absolute rubbish, and no one really liked it. And of course, uh, the actual usability of it is less than Windows 10. And now you're forced to use third-party apps like Start 11, Start All Back, and other applications out there that help you to change the start menu to something more usable. Now, if companies like this can come up with some software that makes Windows 11 start menu more usable, and surely Microsoft know that their start menu is absolute garbage and they can actually do something about it, but they just seem to have done nothing. And I think what's happened is they've released Windows 11 way before it was even finished to get it pushed out to the general public. And of course, people are stuck with a start menu that doesn't do anything for them. Whereas something like Start 11 makes usability of the start menu a lot better. Let's move on to the taskbar. This is another known issue with Windows 11, 
When they first released Windows 11, the taskbar was absolute rubbish. You couldn't do anything with it. And uh, basically, you still can't do too much with it because of the widget system and the things that they have, like the action center and all that on the sides. It means you can't have the taskbar going up the sides or at the top. And that meant a lot of people that have had that on the side or up the top for many, many years have just been forced to change to go back down to the bottom. And of course, this took away change for the taskbar itself. Also, a lot of things didn't work, like drag and drop onto the taskbar and a bunch of other things which didn't work with the taskbar. So they have to change that for Windows 12 when it's released. Let's move on to another pet hate, which is the app section. There was bloated apps inside here, forced apps upon you that no one wanted, and you have to go in here and uninstall all of the apps. And there was a big problem with apps reinstalling themselves after an update. And this become a little bit tiresome for a lot of people and they didn't want it. So, of course, some of the apps were then forced on you where you couldn't even uninstall them. They took away the uninstall privilege away from you where you were forced to leave them on the system. They were embedded into the actual operating system like Microsoft Edge. And it's only up until recently that people in the European Union can now actually uninstall Edge and a bunch of other stuff because they were taken to court. So obviously this needs to change. Uh, Microsoft needs to not force people to have apps on their system that they don't want and give them the privilege to uninstall it or have a toggle where they can turn privacy settings off and things like that. Let's move on to another one here, which I think needs to change for Windows 12. When you go into your settings and go to accounts, it's being forced to use a Microsoft account. You have to jump through hoops uh, to basically uh, get a local account on the system. Even when you're installing Windows, even Windows 11 Pro users are now forced to use a, an account to set it up. And you have to use some bypass method to get to install Windows 11 the way you want. So basically, they're forcing you to use a, a Microsoft account during the setup process. And of course, once you're there, you have to then uh, log out and then go back into a local account. But by then, the damage is done and they already have your information. So that needs to change for Windows uh, 12, definitely. Another massive change that needs to happen for Windows 12 is the Windows updates. It seems that every time they offer an update, it breaks a ton of stuff. And then it takes them an age to fix that stuff. And the time they fix it, they break something else in the process. There needs to be a much better policy in place where they are checking these updates much more stringently uh, before they are released to the general public. Unfortunately, they laid off a bunch of people that did that job for them. And now they're using people as guinea pigs on the insider program to test all of the operating system updates before they're released. And unfortunately, so much hardware and software which is available for different computers it's going to affect people's computers differently and of course there's been some bloopers in the past with loss of data and a bunch of other things that have happened during the update process and some uh, damage has been done to people's computers during the update process where they can't boot back into windows and all sorts of things like that so that definitely needs to be a little bit more better for windows 12. Next up, it's the Windows security. There definitely needs to be a better Windows security solution rather than having to use third-party antivirus programs to protect your computer, especially against ransomware and things like that. Windows Defender is just not up to snuff for protecting you against those particular types of infection, and we need a better antivirus for our operating systems, and we don't need one that is heavily uh, dependent on system resources like Windows Defender is. There's a lot of antivirus programs out there today that don't use as much system resources like they used to back in the 80s. But Windows Defender has always been a bit of a system hog. And again, I would like to see an improvement in the Windows security. Now, I know it's got a lot better. Malware doesn't get infected on Windows as much as it used to back in Windows 7 and uh, operating systems like XP, it has got a lot more better at protecting you, but it does need to improve for 
you know, Windows 12 when it's released, more control over the firewall and a better antivirus all round to protect you against ransomware and other stuff like that would be a added bonus. But other than that, I think that is my main sort of picks that I would say I'd like to see changed for Windows 12. Let me know in the comments section below what you would like to see changed in Windows 12. I suppose I would like to see less AI as well. That's probably another thing that I would like to see, but that's not going to happen. It's going to get even more AI in Windows 12, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. So let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see. Less telemetry is definitely up there. I know that, but that's not going to happen. It's going to be even more telemetry, I would have thought, in Windows 12. But anyway, just an interesting video to find out what your opinions are on the new Windows operating system when it's released next year. I would love to see your comments on what you think is going to be like. I just think it's going to be a lot worse than Windows 11 and a lot more uh, telemetry involved and, and more data collecting and more ads. That's what I can see it being like, but I could be wrong. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.